Well, Mayor Brandon Johnson did not attend Officer Weska's funeral. After Weska's family allegedly asked him to stay away, the mayor told media last night he would be at the service at St. Rita, but state comptroller Susanna Mendoza, whose brother is on the police force, tweeted last night at Officer Weska's visitation, his grief-stricken mother asked Representative Angelica Guerrero, Cuellar and me to please tell Chicago's mayor he was unwelcome at her son's funeral. We both called him before 10 p.m. asking he please honor her wishes. This morning, the mayor sent an updated statement saying he would not be there. The mayor said in part, my heart is with the Weska family today. God God bless them and God bless the city of Chicago. It's the first time in recent memory a sitting mayor has been asked not to attend the funeral of a fallen service member. Many police officers turned their backs. You'll remember this on Mayor Lori Lightfoot when she visited Ella French, uh, her partner, Carlos Yanez, at the hospital. That was in the year 2021, but Lightfoot still attended French's funeral. Wow. You see it, we got to do it, man, because the mayor called Cap, man, because everybody tried to call the mayor. We tried to call the mayor. The, his own people tried to call the mayor and said, don't go. And he said, man, I'm going to go. So guess what? Not only hearing from his representatives and telling him and advising him, don't go, he had to get on the phone with this, young, with this officer's mother. And she pleaded him, listen. Don't show up to the party. We are not rocking with you. <laughs> let us know your thoughts, Chicago. Please, anybody, let us know your thoughts. How is the job that Brandon Johnson is doing? Because the mom said don't show up. <laughs> let's look at it and let us know your thoughts. Well, Sylvia, we have new information from Mayor Johnson today. He spoke for the first time since Weska's funeral, and we're learning that it was a private conversation he had with Weska's family that ultimately led to the decision not to attend the funeral for fallen service member Luis Huesca. Now, you might recall that State Comptroller Susana Mendoza had very, very publicly asked the mayor to stay away at the family's wishes. Johnson had initially said he was going to go to the funeral. So today he talked about that phone call with Huesca's mother that led to his decision. He First of all, let me know how y'all feel because he initially said that he was going to go to the funeral even after being advised not to go. And when the family heard that, they had to call and say, listen, man, do not pull up here, man. We do not want you here. Let us know your thoughts. How do y'all feel, man? The old mayor can't see his fallen officers. Rest in peace. <laughs> I mean, things that make you say what? The conversation that I had directly with um, Officer Weska's mother was that um, she requested that I not attend the funeral, and I honored her request. So it was important for me to hear directly from the family, and once I had a direct conversation with um, Officer Weska's um, mother, uh, that's when we made the commitment uh, to honor her wish. You also made the commitment and said you was going to go, and now since you were told directly from the mother and the family, do not show up, even though you were advised not to show up, now you had to make a public statement and retract yourself and stay home. Man, oh man. These comments came at a press conference alongside State's Attorney Kim Fox and Police Superintendent Larry Snelling and outlining this multi-agency 10-day manhunt to locate and arrest Xavier Tate in Glendale Heights, charging him with felony murder murder, aggravated vehicular hijacking, and possession of a stolen vehicle. Weska's family was reportedly upset at Johnson for the notion that he did not have officers back. So perhaps to counteract that image, Johnson today reiterated his support for the CPD. Me and my administration, we are proud to support and stand with the Chicago Police Department. My confidence in Superintendent Snelling, Chief Rossetti, and the entire police department um, has been strengthened in this moment. Tate, now in Cook County custody, will have to stay in jail until his criminal trial. We're also learning about new charges against an individual in Glendale Heights who allegedly hid Tate during this manhunt. So we're going to have a lot more at 4 and 5 on this developing story. Man, let me know your thoughts about this officer Heska, man. Um, 
Mayor Brandon Johnson, he wasn't invited to the funeral. And if you don't know about Officer, Officer Wesker's um, death, he was killed by a young man who was then on the run for 10 days. And we think the family was pissed off that it took them 10 days for them to capture this man. And let us know your thoughts, because at least they, they found him. Because in Chicago, most murders go unsolved. So let us know your thoughts. And if you don't know what happened, I'm going to just give you a little bit so y'all all call. For being on the run for 10 days, Xavier Tate now arrested behind bars and now formally charged. Here's his mugshot and a list of charges includes first degree murder, aggravated vehicular hijacking and possession of a stolen firearm. It was here at the Ellen Cross, uh, Crossing Apartments in Glendale Heights where he was arrested yesterday afternoon. Still clear how police tracked Tate down after they say he shot and killed Officer Luis Wesca two Sundays ago. We do expect to learn more in a press conference tomorrow morning with the police superintendent, ATF, the mayor, and the Cook County State's attorney. For now, neighbors tell us they can't believe the suspect in such a high-profile case was so close to them, but thank police for handling the situation the way they did. A little frightening that you... you you never know who, where, or what. There was no shooting, no yelling. Everything was very quiet. They did a good job. One neighbor tells me that all the chaos yesterday afternoon started around 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and he says police, U.S. Marshals were here on scene until after he went to bed last night at 11 o'clock. Xavier Tate will have his first court appearance tomorrow morning at 1130. It goes, man. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know your thoughts. Did it take too long for the family to apprehend this man or is it just too much violence going on in Chicago and the Chicago Police Department don't feel like the mayor and the city got his back because he wasn't invited to this funeral. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. We are back and we missed you. Tap in and subscribe.